Hey guys, what I got here is the GM Bose subwoofer integration harness. Uh, if you have a late model uh, GM, it has a Bose amplifier in it. This harness is for adding a subwoofer and subwoofer amplifier. It's very easy to use. It prevents you from cutting and splicing into your stock wiring. Um, again, this will not work in a non-Bose. It will only work in a system that has Bose. So whatever model vehicle you have, when you get a hold of me, just tell me which, what year and what, what year and what, what model you have. And that way I'll just reaffirm that uh, this will work in your vehicle. And you're going to locate your, your GM, your, your Bose amplifier, somewhere in your car. Depending on your vehicle, they're in different places. You're just going to have to, if you, if, you, if you tell me your vehicle, I'll probably be able to tell you where your amplifier is. I have software that tells me where all the locations are. So go ahead and uh, I work with you on that. So once you locate your vehicle's uh, amplifier, you're going to see three plugs together. And then there's probably going to be a fourth plug. I'll leave the fourth plug alone. It's a brown plug. We're just going to concentrate on these two plugs in this three-way system here. First thing you're going to do is pull the 8-pin connector out. It'll have wires. Grab your new harness, and you just click it in. And then you take the other side of the harness, and you go right back into the amp with it. Okay? And then it'll just be like that. And then you take your pack LP7-2 line-out converter that these come with, plug it in. To there that's done and now you'll have your your uh, low level outputs that go into the inputs of your amplifier and the nice thing about this too is it comes with remote turn on wire too okay so you run that to your amps remote turn on terminal and you don't have to worry about finding something for your for turning the amp on and off with you know going in the fuse box or anything it's it's all right here okay um let's see you're going to need to dis disable your ANC system, and there's a couple different ways to do it. I offer this adapter that works at your amplifier again. You're going to pull this end connector, which is your microphone wire connector, and there's a couple of important wires that need to stay in it, which remain in this. You're going to go into this side of the adapter, plug it in, and go right back into your... Bose amplifier and it's done. Now your microphones are disabled. You're not going to get that crazy feedback that uh, everybody who has done it knows it, it'll drive you crazy. You cannot have an audio system in these newer cars without disabling that uh, that ANC. You got you got to disable those microphones, and this is a very easy way to do it. If you want to, if you don't want to buy this little adapter from me, uh, you can drop your headliner and disconnect your microphones. However, you want to do it. But uh, for $10, I would say that this little thing is worth it. And you're going to be there anyway, so you might as well just buy it. Uh, my email is in the description if you're interested in one of these. If you have any questions, uh, just shoot me an email. And pricing should be in the description. I'm going to put it in there. Leave a comment below if you want to. Uh, I'd be glad to go back and forth with you. And that's about it, guys. Hope that helps. Uh, have a great day. Bye now.